All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to move on to the next level. Um, this tutorial is going to be a very quick one. This is about transparency. Now, when do you actually need transparency? Well, that question is easy to answer whenever you need glass, whenever you need a glass front like I have in my building here, um, you will need to create a material that has that transparent property. And I must tell you that I've had some issues with that for, for quite some time starting out with Blender because actually it's not that straightforward to create it without any external help. Uh, I've not been able to find any documentation on that that explains it in a way that I would understand until I found a video by Carl in one of the OGs in the building world uh, for the central land. He has a YouTube video that explains different kind of transparency transparency settings in a lot of detail uh, i will link to that video in the description nevertheless I, I want to create a very basic explanation on how this works as a um as a great start where you get the feeling of success before you start digging into it deeper to make different kinds of glass so let's quickly switch over to Blender and um, what's important to notice here that I already have that cube that you have just seen here in the central land. I have it visible in Blender and I'm in the shading area. So basically you can start off with your standard cube that is immediately delivered when you open up a new general file and then if you switch over to shading you will have a section here at the bottom and these little boxes they're called nodes and you can put together all kind of properties for materials that are going to be saved as a material and then applied to that cube so in a um, in the case of a standard cube you will have automatically a material applied to it it will be usually some kind of white and if you switch over to shading, you will only have this principal BSDF node and you will have the material output section visible here, but they will be directly connected. Now, what you need to do to get the transparency right, you need to add these two objects here and they're easy to add. If you click into this area here and then on the keyboard, go for Shift A and here search for transparent and you will be able to find that object right here if you select it you will be able to place it somewhere like we did now you only need one of these and then you do the same thing for mix shader shift a search mix click deposit and now you just need to connect these in the exact same way I have it on the screen if you want to learn a little bit more about the details feel free to check out Carl's video I think he does a little bit more explaining on what these mean but I think really what's important right now is just to get some kind of glass material going I think this is going to make you feel real good especially if you have if you had issues getting this right where you would create a shiny glass-like material but it wouldn't be transparent and things like that it all happened to me too so make sure that you just have these connections set up correctly you grab the green point you feed it into the right green point and then once you've done that most important part is to change the blend mode to alpha blend i think you can also use these two but I'm using alpha blend, so just repeat the same. This is under the materials section, settings, blend mode, alpha blend. Once this is done, you still have a couple of settings to make. And this is inside these nodes here. So this factor, reduce it to 
0.33 just do exactly the same you can play around with it later um, in this object here you click on the color make sure you select RGB I think initially it will be HSV or something else select RGB copy the exact same settings 1 1 1 0 0.3 um, you will be able to just click in here select everything and on the keyboard type in 0 0.3 enter and you're done so here one more time copy the exact same settings set it to white uh, that should be fine and now here for the base color you will need to copy these settings that i have here again rgb switch over to it and then 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 then 0 0.03 that should be the second component that you need take metallic and drive it all the way up to one specular 0.5 sheen tint 0.5 i'm not sure if these actually have an impact but metallic has an important impact and i think alpha is at one here so once you have the exact same settings everything should be connected in the same way you will immediately realize that you will get a transparent cube here sometimes you will have to just you know switch somewhere and come back and it will reload it somehow but uh, yeah man this is it like if you have been struggling with glass material i hope this was really useful to you um, if you need more details on different types of glasses and options and different setups of the nodes check out carl's video in the uh, description there is a link and other than that if you found this useful please click the thumb, thumbs up so we get an additional like on that video and uh, subscribe to the channel if you if you find this kind of stuff useful i will probably do a couple uh, more videos on this type of topics going forward all right guys thank you and take it easy